is infidelity genetic? How would you study this? Well, one way of studying this is to look at sets of twins. You can look at fraternal versus identical twins. So identical twins share 100% of their DNA. Fraternal twins share 50% of their DNA, but they both have the same nurture, the same house, right? The same, the same household. And so um, there should be a difference in likelihood of both of them committing infidelity or neither of them committing infidelity when there's more genes involved, right? And that difference in likelihood, the amount of variance that that additional 50% of genetic similarity explains for, that can be your genetic component to infidelity. So we have these massive twin studies um, where you look at the variance and you look at the genes and you say, okay, well, how much correlation is there? And you see that a lot of the variance actually is explicable by, by genetics. So most of the variance in male infidelity, at least in one sample, I, I, I believe it was Finnish twins. I think there were 7,000 of them. I'm not sure. It was a big study. Um, most of the variance in male infidelity in their sample was, expl was explicable by genetics and a large minority, um, over 30% of women's infidelity, variation in women's infidelity was explicable by genetics. Then you can also look at, and, and there's some controversy around these, but you can also look at candidate gene studies and say, oh, if someone has this copy of this gene, they're X percent more likely to have an affair. Um, and then you can also look at just kind of the anecdotal evidence. Um, it's not really anecdotal. It's more just purely correlational. Like there's not a lot of theory behind it, but we just see that if your father, if a man's father had an affair, he's more likely to have an affair. If a woman's mother had an affair, she's more likely to have an affair. It's partially going to be, you know, nurture probably, Wasn't but it? nature has to play a role. It would be very strange. It would actually be very peculiar if, um, if genes had no influence, right? Because your genes can impact, um, like I mean, I mean every, yeah, everything, yeah, right? everything's heritable to some extent, right? Everything <gasps> is heritable to some extent. And I'm not saying that we're just in kind of the prison of genetics at all. Right, like, uh, it, and it's not an excuse for cheating, but it's just a simple fact that to an extent, extra pair behavior and extra pair desires are going to be heritable. Now, that extent might actually be much smaller than it was in those studies in, you know, the, in whatever population. It could be different, but I, I would be completely flabbergasted if there was a study where there was just no genetic influence that would be that would be bizarre